Right now we're right outside of 29 Palms, California at a really interesting art installation called the Glass Outhouse. And you'll find out in just a minute why it's called the Glass Outhouse. Right now we're walking around the Glass Outhouse property and you can't help but see this giant Pepsi can from Highway 62 when driving by. But this is an amazing place. I mean, there is just art everywhere and it's, it's like that unique desert art and we'll walk around and take a look in just a second and show you some of the highlights here. There's also two indoor art galleries on the property which are open from one to five every day. And then there's the Glass Outhouse, which this is named for which is just what it seems. It's a glass outhouse, and we'll take a look at those as well. And right behind me, there's also a chapel where they've actually had weddings here on the property, and it is a actual working chapel. And so let's head over that way, and we'll start there, and then kind of work our way around the property and check out the uh, glass outhouse eventually and see if anyone's brave enough to use it. Check out this guy right here. It looks like he's running and screaming in terror. But why wouldn't he be? There's a headless guy chasing him. And these guys are having a shootout here. And this reminds me of that milk crate challenge that was popular a few months ago where all those people were getting hurt. But you can see this property is huge. And there's just art everywhere. Check out that, that Volkswagen that looks like a turtle. Well, let's head back up to the chapel. So here's the tiny chapel. And there is a sign on it that says it's open 24 hours. So let's take a look inside. And oh yeah, look, it's an actual little chapel. You see, those are bottles up there. Now they did say that there have been six different weddings held in here. And looks right next door to the chapel is a little cemetery. Where it looks like hate, greed, malice, pride, envy, and prejudice, and so on have been buried here. Take a look at this dragon here and there's a pirate ship crewed by some skeletons right behind it. it looks like a cannon is firing at the Pirates. So we actually got to speak with the owner of the Glass Outhouse, the creator. Uh, this has been here 13 years. She said people thought she was crazy to open an art gallery out here on the edge of nowhere. Uh, but here she is 13 years later, still going strong. Uh, it is free to visit. They do accept donations, but it is a nonprofit. Uh, so it is absolutely free to visit. I was completely unaware until I visited the Glass Outhouse that December 4th is International Cheetah Day. Here's some skeletons working out. According to the sign, this is Ghoul's Gym. And I think they're, they're pretty good. They probably don't need to lose any more weight, but they probably got to work on putting on some muscle. The entire pathway is lined with bottles, kind of marking the path, and it leads into this area over here. And I don't know how well you can see with the sun being where it's at, but there's bottles circling this pit and heading down into it.
This is pretty interesting. Here's a little frog pond. And I know it's for frogs because this sign says, frog parking only, all others will be towed. Here's a skeleton using the bathroom, but this is not the glass outhouse. The glass outhouse is right over there. So let's head through the art galleries, take a look at the inside of the galleries, and then we'll check out the actual glass outhouse that this is named after. So now we're gonna head inside the art gallery and then check out the glass outhouse that this place is named for. Uh, but before I do, I mean, this place is absolutely amazing. I love roadside attractions and unique roadside art, and this place has it all. If you're in the 29 Palms area, it's definitely worth stopping here. It is fantastic and totally unique. I mean, there is no place like this. You have to be careful getting out to the outhouse because there's apparently quicksand in the area. And so here's the glass outhouse. There's actually two of them. There's that one and this one. And I can actually kind of see through the glass on that one. Um, I can't hear, but let's take a look inside. We have a toilet. And here we are in the glass outhouse. You can see you can completely see through. So you have quite the view when you're using the bathroom here. And I don't have to go, so I'm not gonna be using it today, but here we are, I mean, this is it. If you want to use the toilet while looking out at the world, this is the place to go. Let's check out the other one too. So here's the other outhouse. This one's a little smaller and it's a lot warmer in here than the other. And I don't know if you can see it with the reflection, but there's some eyes looking back at you. So if you're sitting on the toilet here, you have some eyes looking at you. But yeah, you have another, you have a good view of the other outhouse from this one. So yeah, that's the uh, class outhouse. Did you use it? No. No. So that's our look at the glass outhouse, which is definitely worth stopping at if you find yourself in the 29 Palms area. It's right off Highway 62, you can't miss it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.